<laughs> Hi there, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Two-Ton Baker, the music maker. Say, how would you like to hear the story of Boomer, the bass drum? Would you? Well, okay, then. Let's listen. Now, Boomer lived in a toy shop downtown on the main street. From his place in the window, he could see everything that went on outside. Sometimes it was very exciting, especially when the fire trucks whizzed by. Lots of things went by. Not only fire trucks, but everything. And there were all kinds of parades, too. Even circus parades. Now, you'd think with so much going on all the time that Boomer would have loads of fun, wouldn't you, huh? But his life was quite unhappy because all the toys were so rude to him. Why, they'd been rude to him ever since the very first day he came to the toy shop to live. Hello, everybody, he'd boomed out in a big, friendly sort of way. I'm Boomer the Bass Drum. I go boom, boom, ba-boomin' along. It's a sure cure for all my troubles. I boom a little louder when things go wrong till my teardrops turn into rainbow bubbles. I go boom, boom, ba-boomin' along. On a great day, you ought to try it. You'll get over your gloom if you go boom, ba boom, 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 like Boomer the big bass drum. I go boom, boom, ba boomin' along. Quiet, quiet! The tin policeman cried out in a cross voice, and the hobby horse said, "You woke me out of a sound sleep." Oh, that was a terrible welcome. So from then on, every time Boomer would start to boom, boom, boom something, they would shush, 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 until finally he just didn't try to talk at all. Yeah. So one beautiful autumn day, he was looking out of the window, just wishing that something would happen, when down the street marched a Boy Scout parade. And just as they were passing in front of the toy shop, the scout leader shouted, Halt! Danny, the drummer boy, put down his bass drum to rest for a moment. And before he could snatch it up again, oh, an awful thing happened. A little girl sat down on it, kerplunk, and went crash right through the middle of it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she looked so funny inside the drum with her legs sticking up in the air that everyone burst out laughing. <laughs> that is everyone but Danny. Now imagine how you'd feel if you were a drummer boy in a great big band and someone smashed your drum just when you were marching in a parade. Suddenly, Danny spied Boomer in the window and he dashed toward the toy shop calling out to Mr. Klotz, the owner who was standing in the doorway. Mr. Klotz! Mr. Klotz! A little girl just broke my drum. May I please borrow the one in the window to use in the parade, huh? Well, Mr. Klotz knew that there just had to be a drum in the parade to keep everybody in step. So he hurried inside and before you could sneeze, oh, it's you! He was back with Boomer under his arm. Oh, thank you, sir, said Danny. I'll take such good care of Boomer, I promise. And Danny grabbed Boomer and rushed back into line just as the scouts were ready to move on. Forward march, came the command. Oh, Boomer's big bass voice could be heard all up and down the line. Oh, what a drum, thought Danny. I sure wish he were mine. Ha <laughs> ha! And Boomer was thinking, what a drummer boy Danny is. I wish I belonged to him. And down the street they marched. Hup, 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 hup. After the parade, Danny took Boomer straight back to the toy shop and gave him to Mr. Klotz. This is a wonderful drum, said Danny. I sure wish I could take him home with me. Well, maybe your father will buy it for you, Danny boy, said Mr. Klotz. Why don't you bring him in to see it? I'll do it, said Danny. I'll bring Daddy in here tomorrow right after school. And he hurried off home. Well, the next day finally arrived. And all morning long, Boomer sat patiently in the window just waiting for Danny. At last, he heard the town clock strike two. It won't be much longer now, sighed Boomer happily. But Boomer was in for a terrible shock. For just then, Mr. Klotz took him out of the window to show to a man and woman. Before he even realized what was happening, they bought him and put him in their car and drove off with him. Boomer could hardly keep the tears back, for he knew now that he'd never see Danny again. And when the man and woman got him home, they carried him up to the attic and locked him in. This was too much for Boomer, and he cried out, why should they lock me up in an attic? Well, I just wouldn't know about that, said an old dusty trunk right in front of Boomer. 
But I remember why I was sent up here about 10 years ago. <coughs> My mistress said, that old trunk is just too big and clumsy to have around. Well, that's just exactly what they said about me, grown Boomer. So I'll probably have to stay here. But 10 years? Oh. Oh, well, I might just well make the best of things, I guess, said Boomer. And he started to play Hink Pink all by himself. Hink Pink Drum Glum, Hinky Pinky Bory Bory, Hinkity Pinkity Fidgety Fidgety, nothing else to do. Hink Pink Trunk Punk, Hinky Pinky Hamper Damper, Hinkity Pinkity Rackety Rackety, nothing else to do. Oh, hum, so dumb, twiddle diddle, thumb thumb, heckity peckity, Jiminy Wiminy, here I go again. Hink Pink, I sigh, Hinky Pinky Quiet Diet, Rinkity Pinkity Snoozity Woozity. Nothing else to do. Hink, pink, wow, wow. Hinky, pinky, barky, barky. Hinkity, pinkity, rabbity, wabbity. Nothing else to do. Hink, pink, mouse, mouse. Hinky, pinky, cheesy, wheezy. Hinkity, pinkity, trappity, snappity. Nothing else to do. Oh, poor Boomer. He just sat up in that old attic and grew lonelier and lonelier and lonelier. And then one morning when he woke up, he saw snow falling outside the attic window. And soon there was so much frost on the window pane that he couldn't even see out. Then one night, very late, he heard soft footsteps on the attic stairs. And the key turned in the lock. And the door creaked open. And the light switched on. And there stood that man and woman. Well, old Boomer just blinked and blinked and blinked. The man came over and dusted him off, and the woman tied a big bow of red ribbon around him, and then they carried him all the way downstairs and left him under a beautiful big Christmas tree. And then they went off to bed. Why, this must be Christmas Eve, thought Boomer happily, and he suddenly realized that he was to be a Christmas present for somebody. I shall probably belong to a little boy, he thought. Because girls hardly ever play drums. Gee, I hope he'll be pleased with me. Maybe he'll think I'm too big and clumsy. And maybe he doesn't even like drums. Oh, worry, 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 he sighed. And then he worried himself off to sleep. Boomer was still sleeping on Christmas morning when someone shouted right in his face, It's Boomer! Mother! Father! Mother! Father! It's Boomer the bass drum! And Boomer opened his eyes, and there, right in front of him, was Danny the drummer boy! Oh, Boomer felt as though he'd burst with joy. Danny grabbed him up and marched round and round the Christmas tree with him. Boom! 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 sang Boomer with his big bass voice. I'm the happiest drummer in the whole wide world! the story of Boomer the Bass Drum. And now remember, boys and girls, if ever there's a day that you may not be especially hilarious and gay, just go boom, boom, ba-boomin' along. It's a sure cure for all your troubles. You boom a little louder when things go wrong till your teardrops turn into rainbow bubbles. Just go boom, boom, ba-boomin' along. On a great day, you ought to try it. You'll get over your gloom if you'll go boom, ba-boom, boom, 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 like Boomer the Big Bass Drum. 